Hey, what's happening guys? Just a short update video for you guys today about my trigger finger situation. So here's the hand. And I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this, so let's zoom in. Right there was a point where they injected. And I've just got a little bit of bruising. Nothing too bad. And, whoops, sorry about that. As you can see, as of right now, the hand is functional. All fingers doing as they're supposed to do. So what they injected me with was a corticoster I'm sorry, a glucosteroid called Kenalog. And yeah, it hurt. So <laughs> when I went in yesterday, and the guy I went to, his name is Dr. Thomas Hughes. Yeah, Thomas Hughes. He is the hand and arm surgeon to the Pittsburgh Pirates, Pittsburgh Steelers, and the Penguins. One of the best guy I could find. And he is the guy who, seven years ago, did my carpal tunnel. And you can barely, barely see those scars in there. The guy's great. So anyway, his PA comes in first, and, you know, his finger's like this. And she's like, what were your other fingers? So I'm going to hold this. I'm wiggling my other finger. She goes, that one doesn't move. I'm like, no, I'm pretty much sure I got trigger finger. So she says, all right, well, the doctor will come in, and he'll probably offer you a shot of cortisone into the joint. She goes, we have to give it to you in the palm of your hand. So it's going to be a little sensitive. Now, whenever medical people use the words like sensitive, or you may feel a little pressure, it's going to hurt. Mark my words, it's going to hurt. So Dr. Hughes comes in, looks at things. He goes, can I open your finger? I'm like, yeah. And he goes, clonk. So he gets his gear out and he's like, turn your hand over. And he goes, all right. He goes, I'm going to give you an injection. He says in 80% of the cases, it works great when the trigger finger is due to um, inflammation. If it's due to scarring in the tendon sheath, then probably going to need surgery. The only way to tell is to do the injection and find out. He says, here are the rules. You can scream and yell as much as you want, but do not attempt to leave the room during the procedure. He goes, otherwise I'll just have to start over again. So I prepare myself mentally. Now he's sitting over here and I'm thinking the injection is gonna come this way, but no, he reaches over me like this and is holding the syringe like this and goes, whoop, oh my. Now, when I was a teenager, I used to get ingrown toenails, and I'd have to go to a podiatrist and get them removed. I thought getting injections into your toes hurt. It is nothing, nothing compared to getting an injection into the palm of your hand. Uh, he stuck that needle in, and the next thing I know, they're telling me, oh, you did great. So I think I might have fainted a little bit. Not quite sure, but all was good. All was good. And we're moving. So I'm going to take it easy today. I'm not going to play any guitar or anything. Maybe tonight we'll get to work on a video. But I just wanted to share an update with you guys on the progress of the trigger finger. And as you can see, 24 hours. It's 24 hours? Yeah, because it is quarter to nine right now. And I had my appointment at 8 a.m. yesterday. So 25 hours that my finger is free. And hopefully we won't need surgery. That's it. I'm out. Peace.